the Farson Crawford tube. How's that eyeball? Is it pretty goopy? Yeah, it's pretty goopy, all right. Ew. Surgical treatment of nasolacrimal duct obstruction. Massage the tear duct with a Q-tip and get out extra material. Examine the patient to make sure all four puncta are present and use a dilator to open up the superior and or inferior puncta of the involved side. Some puncta are very small or not even there. The Farson modification is particularly useful if there is only one canalicular system on a side. Probe through the canaliculus and valve of Rosenmuller till you hit the bone on the end of the nasolacrimal duct. Turn and carefully probe through the nasolacrimal duct through the obstruction at the valve of Hasner. Patency can be assured by metal on metal contact in the nose under the inferior turbinate. After the system has been probed with a 2O Bowman probe or larger, the Crawford set with silk indwelling in the lumen is inserted through the dilated punctum, passed through the canaliculus on one side, turned and passed through the nasolacrimal duct. The Crawford retriever with the end uh, modified with a small file then passed under the inferior turbinate and retrieves the metal stylet of the Crawford set. The Farson modification uses one set to uh, achieve long-term patency of both sides. Check to make sure both puncta are present even on the non-obstructed side. Dilate the punctum. Probe the canaliculus through the valve of Rosenmuller with the probe very parallel to the eye. Hit the bone on the nasolacrimal side. Turn. Pass through the nasolacrimal duct down to the level past the valve of Hasner. The opposite side of the Crawford set is then passed through the left side through the duct and again is retrieved from under the inferior turbinate with the Crawford retriever. The knob of the Crawford uh, stylet allows use with the Crawford retriever. In cases of canalicular laceration or very small systems, it's possible to break the end of the Crawford set off, passing it as if it was a 3-0 Bowman probe and retrieving with an alligator forcep. Cut one end of the silicone and silk. and carefully tie a square knot in the silicone, making sure it is neither too loose nor too tight. The silicone knot can come out, and therefore the modified nail clipper is used like a wire stripper Carefully remove the silicone from each end. I make a nick in the uh, nail clipper by trying to close it on an end of the Crawford 
metal stylet. Additional knots in the silk thread reinforce the durability of your farson modification loop. Bilateral monocanalicular nasal acromal duct stenting. Trim the end. And advance the knot into one nares. Following the procedure, one or two drops of antibiotic and or steroid combination can be injected and these will now rinse through the system. For removal, the loop... Look at you. Look at you. Cut. Isn't that pretty good? Now what I do is I come in from the top like this and the end of that is actually not sharp. Like that. An assistant what? Napping what? Good way to make sure that the eye is not Maybe she doesn't want to have it removed. Maybe she's gotten so used to it underside from that she likes it. The nares and pull out. I don't think so, though. Are you happy? Not actually hurt. I don't think she's happy yet.